My name is Louis Belazne. Can you guys hear me all right? Yeah. yeah. Just to all the mic noise. My name is Louis Belazne. I'm the manager of a company called Botkeeper, which is the sexiest part about running your business. Does anyone want to take a guess at what the sexiest part of running your business is? Making money. Who's shouting? Making money. Making money, sure, that's very sexy. I got something sexier than that. Bookkeeping. Oh. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Bookkeeping. Literally not the sexiest thing about running a company, but the most critical. Without good books, you have no idea how you're functioning, you have no idea who you can hire, you don't know how much runway you have, you don't know how much money you need to raise, you really don't know anything. But it's really easy to get caught up and not paying attention to it when you start because what are you primarily dealing with only when you launch a company? Take a guess. Expenses, right? But expenses are really critical to track. How much are you spending? Where? Why? What do people typically do? Do we have business owners in here? I imagine we do. Raise your hand if you're. When you first started, how did you track your expenses? I ignored it. So, <laughs> real smart. QuickBooks is actually the next step. Excel, right? Maybe a shoebox. You guys get an accountant when you first started, you handed off everything to them? Cool. That probably gave you a ton of insight weekly or monthly or quarterly, right? Bodkeeper is when machine learning robotics process automation AI and skilled human accountants to provide an outsourced bookkeeping solution that runs 24 7, provides unlimited reporting, literally anything you want to look at for half the cost of a part-time bookkeeper. We do that because instead of hiring a bunch of people at a really low rate to come in, ask you for your bank access, ask you for that Excel sheet, ask you for whatever else you're using, we simply sync with those data points. Maybe you're cutting payroll early, I don't know, but ADP's in play, we'll sync. Bank of America, Citizens, Silicon Valley Bank, with the T-sheets, Bill.com, Concur, Expensive by any of those platforms you sync with. And we're in the middleware. So instead of having a human then come in, grab that data, make decisions in their head about how it should be categorized, we have rules. And the cool thing with businesses is that those rules are pretty much going to be consistent for you on an ongoing basis, right? You get categories in place, you set up your GL, your general ledger, chart of accounts, you're basically going to follow that from now on. So now we have a whole bunch of rules about how you should be categorizing. <coughs> Which takes any sort of fatigue, emotion out of the plate, way more accuracy to make those decisions on your behalf. And then instead of doing what, like, I won't name these people, but other outsourced accountant firms or bookkeepers do and put you on their proprietary general ledger, we'll simply work with your QuickBooks, your Zero, your Wave, your FreshBooks, although I argue you should get off that the sooner the better. Pay the 50 bucks a month to get a QuickBooks or Zero, your life will be easier down the road. And then do all the data entry for you. Generate the reports, make sure everything's closed out, reconcile your books, send out invoices on your behalf, follow up on collections once you start actually generating revenue. Not only take care of cash-based accounting, but accrual-based accounting, so you might get a whole bunch of revenue in January, but that's not actually revenue that's recognized for that month. You've got to space it out over the next 11. How do you do that? How do you track it? Don't worry about it. Bookkeepers making bookkeeping a super simple decision to make. Don't do it yourself anymore. You don't do it now because it costs money, you gotta hire a bookkeeper, you know how much time is required, they're gonna charge you $40, $50 an hour, just get a bot and do it. So I'm just gonna let this run in the background, it's kinda of hard to demo in a traditional sense, only because, oops. Nobody really knows what a bookkeeper does. <laughs> but it kinda of functions like this. So you have all these different points, your Shopify, your Stripe, your PayPal, Amazon, Spence, Myron, all that stuff. This is your team. And you can get rosy, you can get iron, you can get ultra, you can get really, really awesome personalities from your bot keeper. But in reality, all bot keeper is are just workflows, RPA, machine learning, decision making for the app. Right? Super simple. And then the output. Is this kind of making sense? All right, now the cool thing with bot keeper, on top of all the stuff we just talked about, is that not only do you have to Stop worrying about all this back office stuff. We started pricing at 250 bucks a month. Which still seems like it's money out of your pocket today, but think about how much easier it would be if you had all this stuff in place and you started to raise money 
or if you're trying to allure another another member to a founding team, a CTO, CFO, any of that stuff, you have everything in place. It literally makes your life so much simpler. <coughs> so, because Chris is awesome, I give you the opportunity to speak here. I want you guys to go through four steps. I want some general awesome feedback from you guys. Text Botkeeper to triple four triple nine. You'll get all my contact info, all Botkeeper's info. It's going to ask you for just a little bit of input as to what you think Botkeeper should be, if this made sense, just anything you want to tell me. And after that, I'll send you a free ebook about keeping tabs on expenses, which is probably what a lot of us are keeping tabs on right now and don't know what to do. So sort of the best tips about how to categorize things right now before you hire a bookkeeper, what are generally good best practices, save you an hour a week maybe, or maybe give you your Saturday night back. So go ahead and do that. I promise you'll be happy. And keep an eye on this guy. Floating around. <laughs> English and Boston sometimes. You may have seen him already. So you'll be that happy when you get Bob Keeper. <laughs> Do you interface with the app stores, iOS app store, Google app store, or Amazon app store? So we do have a we do have an app. Yep. Um, no, I don't mean an app. Interface with the uh, with the sales component of those, where you where you have a developer selling apps. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. So we'll be able to plug in with that and grab the reports we need to start to do the uh, actual reconciling or input or revenue tracking from those. Yep, totally. Are you currently open for business? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We launched about a year and a half ago now. I'll let me take like accounting questions if you guys have basic ones. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about Jews that you've done? What is the benefit of selling? Perfect. So we're not a replacement to QuickBooks. QuickBooks isn't a bookkeeper. You can't go to you can't go to QuickBooks and trust QuickBooks to do everything for you, right? It might sync, it might take a bank fee, it might output things, but how do you know if it's accurate? You're just kind of trusting it this early on. You still have to go in and do the manual overriding, make sure it's okay, you still have to do the report generating, you still have to reconcile. QuickBooks is just a platform. So when you're early on, you're going to do it yourself. I know you will. It just it seems like it's saving you money, but you probably suck at it. So stop doing it sooner. Unless you actually have a financial background and it really makes you happy to do it, then I don't know what kind of company you're running then. You're probably trying to create another bookkeeping company. So get away from doing it sooner rather than later. Um, but we're not a replacement to it. So we'll use it. We'll take over the management of it from you. And this sounds so cliche, but you guys have been through it. We literally give you all that time back. So like use it to build your app, use it to go sell, use it to sleep, use it to eat, anything other than doing good books yourself. How does your company intend to raise money over the next you know, uh, two to five years? So we haven't raised anything. We've been bootstrapped. We're, revenue, we're generating revenue now over the last year and a half. We work with about 170 clients internationally. Uh, we're Boston based, the majority of them fall here. Um, but we're in about 35 states, four different countries. Uh, we continue to go this path just as we really make sure that this is solid. What we do differently than a traditional company is, or a traditional outsourced bookkeeping company is that instead of having to hire like four or five internal bookkeepers at $30, $40 an hour and then going to you guys and selling it at $60, $70 an hour, we get the bots to do a majority of the work and then pepper an accountants on the back end to help with the nuances, the specifics of your business. And because of that switch, we can then have one accountant work with a ton more companies versus having six people have to worry about one. So, so for us, the space data? becomes a lot easier to grow. <coughs> the support group is going through the data? They are. Yep. But versus having an accountant or a bookkeeper have to do the data then verify it, we just basically have to verification. So it saves them stuff. It didn't burn out. So you're, you have some very sensitive data. What kind of security do you have on the back end and how trustworthy is the whole system? Not to sound just funny about it, but way more than a part-time bookkeeper you hire, just give full access to your basic bank account. Um, so we built out the back end to make sure everything's 256 bit encrypted, everything's green bar. We're hosted on AWS. I don't know if that pissed anybody off, but 
You have to go through SOC audits, you have to be SSA 16 compliant. We've also built out a separate dashboard and portal. So in addition to the reporting, you can get our QuickBooks to zero. We'll build out a real-time dashboard for you to look at your kind of key metrics. Okay, and that's the invoices, expenses, and it refreshes near real time. But we have control of that, so we're not subject to anyone else. So the backend is very secure. Plus, our bots are bots and software. It's all rule-based zeros and ones. They're not looking at any given data to be like, oh, you know, I need a new uh, color or I need a new, I don't know, tool or something. They're just going to run through it. And if it doesn't make sense, it gets flagged. Our accounts come in. You're set. All right. Thanks. Thanks.